Hi everyone. Well, I'm back. I got myself some new molds. So I thought I'd record, show you how I feel them, and some tips along the way. Then let them dry and come back and let me know how long they took to dry. Same drill as last time. So, hello, hello, hello. Alright. Let me show you. I've got this one. This is by Prima Redesign. It's called Leafy Blossoms. It's got a lot of detail inside. I'll have to see how it comes out with this acrylic filler. This one is by Monarch. Gap filler mini, 250 grams. And it's an acrylic gap filler. And it's white. It's flexible, you can paint it, you can cut it, you can gesso it. Anything you want. I've got this mold. from IOD Designs it's one of the new ones I guess called Trimmings 1 oh, looks really beautiful another IOD and it's called Monarch Also got another one from IOD. This is lock and key. I've got these three from a stockist in Australia called Sign Jacqueline. She's got afterpay as well. And there's a few other stockists in Australia. This one I got from craftonline.com.au <clears throat> A few of the Prima ones are from Craft Online. I'll fill those up first. And then whatever is left, um, I'll fill up some other extra moulds that I have. Oh yes, and <laughs> I've got another Stamperia. Um, mold um, this one is this Stampo Maxi it doesn't have a name it could be part of the princess set I'm not sure No, these ones I got in craft craftonline.com.au as well so I'll fill this one up to see what it's like and if you've seen previous video I already tried the acrylic filler in this one this is the princess frames and I tried it on this one an acrylic filler does work in these molds so I'll fill that one as well and this one so I'll fill up all the new ones and if I feel like it or if there's something left over I will fill up some other molds okay well I've got my gloves on and if you noticed on my recent video I had one tube left since then I bought another 10 so I've got a few to play with. So that's good. Let me just twist that off. You 
can use these in your projects. Keep them. Uh, first you need to screw this off. So on this caulking gun, it's made specially for the Mini. You put it into this square hole and you twist. And this will get your... Put it in there. Give it a good twist. Yeah, just breaks it off and just untwist it. You can even use these little bits. Could be good in your craft endeavours. Okay. Put your tube in. And before I forget this time, what how I've been filling them, see how thinly it comes out. You can increase how much comes out by snipping the tip off to make a wider hole and that way more will come out and it will go quicker to fill. So let's do that. Let me grab some scissors. Right. Let me cut this off. About that much. Okay, that went flying. See, and it will give me a wider tip. And you'll see how much more comes out. Okay. Let me get my head. Oh, you got your lid. Put it on the top. Shimmy it down to the bottom of the tube and then this you need to move to the back so grab it this way you need to push down on this and pull this up so press hold in when it decides to there you go press hold and pull that way you get that pulled in and you can screw your tube on. There we go. <sighs> That's it. Now to get it started, you just pump like this all the way and it will travel. Oh, there you go. And it's coming out. All right, so we can start filling. All right. So let's go. Pump, and it comes out. A lot more comes out. don't have to pump so much. I always wanted to mention this tip but I keep forgetting. Comes out quicker and with larger quantity. some scrapers these three and another two come in a set you can buy at your local hardware store these ones are yellow I had ones before I think they were white or oh, the new ones white can't remember set of five you get five different sizes and one big one um, 150 50 mil and these are good for the wide molds like these ones Whoa. <laughs> okay these IOD molds just that should be interesting 
you use a wider spatula a little bit wider than your mold that way it's easier to scrape so you angle it and you scrape down now you've got gaps what I do is turn it around and go again same angle push down and then to scrape that off put your scraper straight up top and go over that will smooth out the top get rid of the excess look how much is on top of the scraper you can use that in your next mold and that pretty much is okay Got some drying racks off to the side, so I'll put them on there and they can dry. Let's try these. They're so big. Now, because I've got that on there, so I can use a smaller scraper, scrape it off, and fill the cavity that way as well. Use it all up. Don't waste it. There we go. See, good sizes come in handy. Now, you've got more to fill, so grab your thing and keep filling. As simple as that. It goes much quicker with the wider tip. Oh, oh, you're joking. Well, that went quickly. Second mold. I think he's empty. Oh, wow. See, bigger molds. be interesting with the rim. I don't know. No. Same thing, just angle it. Angle then push down. You still have heaps left. Keep your scraper straight and go over oh wow but then again there's a lot wasted in the center hmm I don't know there's heaps on there so I'll just grab another mold and fill it come back to this These IO, new IOD moulds, they're heavier and they're thicker than the Prima ones. Mm. Oh yeah, I can sort of angle it. A disadvantage with the micro ring.
well. We'll see how long this will take. It's all right. You can sort of scrape it in between if you want. I managed to do that, so it's not too bad. We'll see how they come out. There you go. it's in the direction I will take note how long these ones will dry because they look pretty deep to me. larger one, a little bit wider than the mould, can you use that, yeah. angle it, pull down, if you see gaps, turn it, push it in, see, got an empty spot, just turn it, here we go, doesn't have to be perfect on the back. Let's see if we can do these stamp area. And you can use a small one.
can see here. I don't know. You see like here, there's an air pocket and that will create the little recesses or dints um, when they come out. No big deal. I've got some left over. Dragonfly wings, another Zuri mold, butterfly dance. I think I might get another tube and fill some more. So it took four to fill out one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, eight molds. Here we go, and half of another one. <laughs> Why not?
Hello everyone, welcome back. Good to see you again. Well, after the last video, I recorded, I filled up some new moulds that I received. Well, it's been a few days and I'm ready to unmould and see what the new ones look like. It's been a long wait, but I waited. It is worth it to... So, let's begin. Which ones? Maybe the IOD moulds. These are pretty thick and heavy. And they've got that micro rim, which makes it extra special. To define the shapes. So... Okay, <laughs> I'm thinking this is the IOD decor mold called trimmings one So here we go this one took Trimmings one it took two days to dry And the weather wasn't too cold. It was sort of warmish So two days <laughs> Look at that. that one already came out And of course, this is from using acrylic filler in the molds. Flexible, you can cut it, paint it, gesso it. See all that detail? So cool. It's not very thick, so a couple of days drying time. It's pretty good. Let me get that filler. Right, I'm back. This is what I used in the moulds. Mini gap filler. This one's by Monarch. Colour white. It's got a high flex. And it's acrylic. Designed to fill gaps, cracks before or after painting. Multi-purpose filler. That's what I used fill these moulds. That's one. See how easy it come out. Gorgeous. And I think it looks like with this rim you get nice edges. the detail. Not bad for a film. And these are quite long too so they'll be excellent for larger projects, larger canvases. I think the ladies IOD sisters they made a video you can make bracelets out of these. They used paper, no they used some sort of clay, their own clay, yes. But imagine using this acrylic filler for it. It goes around nicely, it won't crack, it has a bit of flex to go over. You can use it as a bracelet too. Again, it doesn't have the the fluff on the edges. Oh wow! Look at this guys. <laughs> Bracelet, huh? Color it any way you want. The video is on their YouTube channel, IOD 
designs, I think. Wow. This one looks wide. Ooh. Gosh. Yeah, it's got no... Wow, this micro rim is good. Even for this acrylic filler. Not just for clay. So you get awesome detail. Wow. How cool. Oh, I like this. This is called Trimmings 1 IOD Decor Moulds. They've got stockists in Australia. I got mine from Sign Jacqueline. And she gets new stock too. Cool. Ah, this one. I like this one. Okay, so you get a little... It depends how well you clean it as you're filling it, but that's not bad. Look at that, little flowers. So you just imagine putting one colour in there, painting it all one colour, and then rubbing it off on top. It's such a cool... And highlighting with a wax on top. Oh wow, so, so much detail. So much detail. Look at that. Oh, I like it. Give that a bit of extra. Not part of the mold. That could be used. Oh, wild. All oh, that extras can be peeled off. All right. This is the AOD Trimmings One mold. To a couple of days. Awesome. I like that. Very cool. Alright, those ones. This is neat. Okay, what next? Ah, yes, butterflies. This is also from IOD. It's called, well, they're already coming out. Monarch. Chopping out again. I think this was two days. Today is the fifth day, so these are just popping out like anything. Look at that. Cool. There's this one, small one. They awesome. Oh, can layer them. Look at that. Let me make this middle one stand up like that. Oh, there's an idea. Okay. Ooh. Cool. The design, I don't mind. It's not part of this design, it's how I filled the mold with the acrylic filler. Cool. 
See? Acrylic filler still gives you details. It's lovely. Lovely jobbly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think everyone watches Marta. We need to convince her to get some mould. Oh, cool. Little one. If you see my project, you would have seen how I used it. They can be stackable. Isn't it awesome? I wish I knew when I was using it in the project. Cool. I think the IOD sister says that these designs are symmetrical. So you can make two of these and then put them together back to back and they will be the same like if you want to make an ornament out of it or hang it you know what I mean like that so when you do two they will be the same size but even like this they've given us two of each design you can you can even put the small one on top. Get three layers. Yeah. How cool. I like that. I'm not sure how I would make it stand up. Like this, I feel like. Very cool. This is the IOD design decor molds monarch. Very cool. God, they're heavy. With all this, you can see it in the video that I made when I was filling it. It's a bit awkward because it fills all this center up, and but it's okay. It just peels off. I don't know. You can use it in projects as well. Sort of like a background texture. Easily comes off. See. Ah, gratifyingly satisfying just peeling it off <laughs> oops wobbles sorry don't mean to need to make a stand that hovers Ooh, look at that. that's one way of cleaning your moulds Yes, I'm throwing it away at the moment. Here you go. With the cavities, you can just maybe get a brush. Brush it out. Doesn't worry me. As long as the cavities are pretty clean. And there shouldn't be any issues with refilling it. Two days to dry. Very cool designs. Butterflies. They're a good decent size too. Because I think they design all this for home decor. So sizes are pretty cool. Uh, stack them. Okay, what's another new one? <laughs> I got three. Wobbles. Yeah. Another IOD. Where is it? Oh, different place. IOD. This one is called Lock and Key. Decor molds. I'm taking this stuff. 
Oh, this one. I'm excited about this one. Be awesome. oh. Oh, can't wait to use them. More, oh, please. Now, this one, two days as well. It's been five, and they just want to fly out. Be free. I am free and ready to be used. Possibilities. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm so happy. Imagine these on a on a drawer, front of a drawer. Be so cool. This one's got a little bow. Lock and key IOD designs. Wow. Love the size. Cool. And these. Oh my gosh. There's a big one. There's a big one. Oh. How easy they come out. I didn't use any primer. I just filled the moulds in. Oh my gosh. How cool. Wow. Is that all of them? Oh, not enough. Come on guys, if you've tried this, look, look, <laughs> please tag me, let me know, show me, I know it seems messy, but it's worth it, you know, it's really worth it. Come on, Beatrice, you gotta try it. You gotta try it. Don't wait. I know you've got one. Try it on a small mold. Cool. Lock and key. These ones. See, they come out too. You can get a little toothpick or something and dig them out. Lock and key. Wow. Impressive. I suggest, guys, you get this. It's really cool. Really, really. to wait five days for these. Could have taken them out in the second day. Okay, what else is new? 
Stamperia. I've got another Stamperia one. Because I thought, why not? This one is Stampo Maxi. This one took four days. I was able to pluck it out yesterday. So four days on this one. It's not bad. I did try one out. So I popped that out. I wonder if it would have been ready in three. Look at this. It's temporary mold. Works. With the Monarch Mini Gavula. How cool. Get the edge first seems to work and then press from the other side. Still haven't found a good no point in pulling it, just distorting them. Mold seem to take it, so it's right. gives you a workout. <laughs> Doesn't come out like the silicon molds, nice and easy. Sorry. Ah, see, a bit tacky, tacky, tacky. Maybe it needed another day. It's tacky. You can leave it air dry and tackiness will disappear. And there's a design here. Where's that? Hmm. Wasn't filled. Wasn't filled enough, so it just made it flat. <sighs> Design popped back to shape, so that's all right. No distortion or anything. Seems to be all right. Not sure if these ones will come out. comes off. days a bit more seems a bit tacky see because of the gap filler it doesn't distort it stays in shape Nice focal points, these ones. Tacky. 
tacky but can be pulled out. Hmm. Well, uh, these are great focal points. I hope it didn't feel correctly, but I mean, I didn't, you know, make sure that it was all full. Cool. When you hear the crackles, it's fine. It's a tough material. This you can just peel off. No problem. And they're still in shape. It's good. I'll try this one. These are a lot thicker. I did take one out, yes. <laughs> that was yesterday. Four days. I was able to take this one out in four days. Wow. Cool. Finally, I filled in the rest of them. <laughs> you can leave them out, put them out separately get the tackiness off. It should be good. So you think it's all twisted, but it's not. But it is tacky, so you can leave it to air dry the day or something like that will be fine cool. this way that way turn it upside down push down on a corner that seems to work even Push it all down. Yep. Ah. Yep. There you go. Peels out. <laughs> cool. That's nice.
This is Maxi Mold Stamperia, and I found it's called Princess uh, Frames. So it must be part of a princess set or something like that. These are called frames. This one that I did in clay. Oops. Nice. Oh, okay. Pause on it. And just push it back into its shape. No problem. Hmm. Pretty. This way. Gotta try making impressions with these. Because I think that's what it was designed for. Because on the other side, it's all pushed out. But I don't know. You see? I have to try it and show you. Roll out some paper clay that I have and see if we can impress these designs into it see what sort of outcome we get they don't look distorted at all it's good all that you can peel off doesn't take much at all just with the fingernail Awesome. Stamperia Maxi Mold Frames Princess Set. <sighs> well, when I was filling all these, I had some acrylic filler left. Plus, I had more bottles, so I thought I'll just fill up some other molds. So. I'll leave it at that with this yapping and explaining which I'm sure you enjoyed and hopefully understood a little bit more so what I'll do I'll just continue and unmold the other molds and you can just watch me unmold so have a good day Grab a cup of tea or coffee or lunch, breakfast. Sit down and just watch me unmold pretty things. Ugh, can't stop. <laughs> All right. Very good. Very cool. I can't wait. I've even bought new box boxes to put all this in. Got so many. I don't mind. 
they are at my disposal I don't have to run to the shop to you know see what I can get new embellishments I have all these so many you wouldn't believe so many look how many I filled all these up while I was doing the new ones and even more this is almost all my collection almost all right. and with the new molds and these ones I used I used I used seven tubes so seven of these 250 grams seven of them filled in all these molds how many molds? 29 molds and they all vary in size and thickness so 29 you know one two three I'm not already counting them I filled 29 molds with seven tubes not bad I um, how much are they they're two dollars 42 in Bunnings and I bought 10 of them so 20 bucks you can have a whole collection of different embellishments it's not bad in my books anyways I'll let you be and just watch as I unmold many These were my previous new mold.